Hey guys, welcome to our crypto explorers, our whales, our retail investors. Today, you're going to be learning a very important and fundamental part of DeFi operational security and also asset access, and that is setting up and using a multi-signature wallet. We are going to be using an app today called Gnosis. And we're using Gnosis not because we're in any way associated with or partnered with them, but we're simply using them because they offer a really easy to use UI and they've been around for quite a while with their DAP. So they're quite, they're seen as a pretty reliable and trustworthy multi-signature wallet provider. Now, before I actually show you how to set up your wallet, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what multi-signature wallets are and how they work. And then we'll go into actually setting up and using your own multi-sig. First things first, what is the difference between a multi-sig and a standard crypto wallet? Well, with your normal crypto wallet, you are the one who signs the transactions, right? So if you connect to a protocol, you sign that transaction. When you send funds, you send that transaction. Well, with a multi-signature wallet, it's a wallet that requires multiple people to sign the transaction in order for it to occur. So in this example, from this image from Coindesk, we can see that we have three individuals on one multi-sig, looks like Justin, Hattie, and Craig. And in order for the multi-sig wallet, multi-sig to actually perform a transaction, two of the three of them have to actually sign it. So that would be about a 66% signature. What are some uses for a multi-sig wallet? For example, if you and two friends all own an, inex an expensive NFT together. You could put it in a multi-sig wallet and then you guys would all have to agree on whether to send that NFT somewhere or sell it or do something else with it. You could also set up a multi-sig, for example, for a team at work, even for your home, where you have multiple people on the multi-sig so they all have assurance that the funds are there but in order for anything to get verified, it requires more than one person. So this allows for collaborative decision-making and also creates an additional layer of security and trust within the organization or within your home. Finally, a really common use of a multi-signature wallet is even for individual holders. So in my case, for this purposes of this exercise, I will show you the setup of a multi-sig wallet between two wallets of mine. Now, this can be very, very handy if you are, let's say, a large holder and you want to put a big amount of your funds in a hot wallet, but you don't. You want to make sure you have the additional security around your private key. So maybe one wallet is accessed on one device, another wallet is accessed on another device. Then, if you accidentally lose one of those two devices, Whoever has your device cannot just access your funds immediately, and you are able to actually safely restore your wallet on a separate device and then perform those transactions on your own. Next, I will show you how to actually set up and use your own multisig. So here we go. On Gnosis Safe, I click Open App. I already have it pulled up here. And for purposes of this exercise, I am going to be showing you how to create a multi-sig using Polygon. I'm only using Polygon because the gas is cheap right now and in general, right? So a little better for my video, but you can use Gnosis on many different networks, right? So for example, Ethereum, um, Arbitrum, Aurora, Avalanche, it offers you a lot of options for creating multi-sigs on many different L1, L2s. So first things first, I'm going to connect my wallet. So I'm going to click here, connect wallet, and then connect. I'm connecting my MetaMask, and my MetaMask wallet has connected. Next, I'm going to go here to create new safe. All right, so first things first, Gnosis is going to remind me that I am on Polygon, so I'm creating a safe on Polygon, safe being multi-sig. This is very important, guys, because uh, Gnosis, because it's permissionless, 
and is not a KYC centralized platform, your assets will be stored in a smart contract. So you need to make sure that you set up your multi-sig on the chain that you're going to use. Because if my multi-sig is on Polygon, but I send assets from Avalanche to my Polygon multi-sig, based on how Gnosis works, I won't be able to access those assets anymore. So set up multiple different multi-sigs if you need them on different networks. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna use Polygon. But keep that in mind, guys. Don't set up your multi-sig and then send funds on a different chain to it because you won't be able to access them. Okay, so I am going to name my, my multi-sig calling it fancy new multi-sig. And they remind you here that this name is only stored locally, right? Which means that only I will see this name, which means it's not on the blockchain, right? So if once my multi-sig is published on the blockchain, it's not going to be published <clears throat> to, the, to the blockchain as fancy new multi-sig. I'm just calling it this for my own purposes so I know what it is. I'm going to click continue. And now here's the very important part is actually adding all of the owner wallets to your multi-sig. So for me, this is my current wallet address that has been pulled in. And next, here's an additional wallet address that I am going to add. I'm going to give it a name. All right. So I've added these two wallet addresses. Obviously, if you have 10 friends you're putting on this, you need all their wallet addresses in order to put them on. But you can also do this in the back end later within Gnosis. So if you don't have everybody set up initially, you can get their wallet IDs later and then add them in as owners and then set up the settings in the back end later. However, it's just a little easier if you do it in the upfront. Now, here's something very important. Make sure that you set your governance. So in my instance, I have two owners. So I am going to require both of these owners to actually approve a transaction before it happens. So then I can show you guys how this actually looks. All right, so now it's revealing. Yes, I did it, hooray. Let's click create. And we can see here actually, this is quite cheap. This is why I'm using Polygon because it's very inexpensive. But keep this in mind as well, guys, is whatever um, chain your funds are on, if you are going to be using this multi-sig a lot and you're running a lot of transactions through it, keep that in mind, also in terms of the safety and security of that chain, but keep that in mind when you're creating your multi-sig. So I'm creating. Now I'm confirming the transaction. All right, and now I will wait for a few minutes. And now my save is created, so I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Yep, Gnosis is reminding me my multi-sig is on Polygon, so if I have assets on other networks and I send them to my multi-sig, I will not be able to access them. This makes sense to me because my multi-sig is basically just a smart contract that lives on one chain. Okay, so this is what our Gnosis multi-sig homepage looks like. Now, a couple of important things here. First things first, guys, before I show you anything else, I'm actually going to send some funds to my new multi-sig. So what I do is I'm going to go here, I'm gonna click copy, and this pulled the address for my new multi-sig up for me. And one thing about Gnosis is when you first get your new multi-sig, sometimes when you copy an address from it, it may add the network in front of it. So it may say something like ETH or Matic, right? So make sure that you check your 
your target address to ensure that it is just a 0x address. So this is my new address. I'm going to go ahead and send some funds from my, from my MetaMask into my multisig. So send. I'm going to send one and a half Matic. Confirm. Hopefully I used enough gas. Let's see. And now I will wait a few minutes for that to appear. And in the meantime, guys, here are a couple of cool things that you need to know about your new multisig. So first things first, here's where you can see all of the assets that you actually have in your multisig. This will be your list of tokens, right? So if I had USDC, USDT, and um, quick, any other Polygon assets in here, they would all appear on this page. And then you can very easily send and receive them using the UI. Next, if you have any collectibles specifically, obviously we know NFTs, they should appear in this section of the multisig. Ah, we can actually see my balance updated, which is why I think the multisig is loading at the moment. I'm going to go back to coins. So I refresh my safe and we can see that our assets have now appeared. I'm gonna show you a couple of other things before I actually run a transaction using this multisig. First things first, if we go to the transactions page, we can now see all the transactions in their UI that have actually gone out, right? So this is historical transactions. So these are things that have already been done. We currently don't have anything in the queue because I haven't queued anything up. A cool thing you can also use is this address book page. So you can see here, I have a couple of different multisigs that I'm on, right? And then we can also see the addresses of the wallets that are partial owners of these multisigs. Next, there are a bunch of different app integrations that Gnosis offers. So for example, if you are running auctions, or you want to use your multisig to do things like swap funds or interact with the protocol like quick swap, you can very easily do that um, just from within their UI. And finally, one more really important thing to know is when you go under settings, if you need to add or remove anybody from your multisig, you can easily do that on the owner's page. The thing to note, however, is when you add a new owner or when you remove an owner, that will queue up a standard transaction in your multi-sig. So for example, if I add a third wallet to this, I would have to still sign that transaction to okay it from the other two wallets. So this of course prevents any single actor from removing everybody else from the multi-sig or adding a bunch of random people. Finally, you can always change your policies on the policies page. So for example, if I wanted to downgrade my safe such that only one wallet had to approve transactions, I can do that here. But in the meantime, both of my wallets would still have to approve that. So the same as any other transaction, everybody's got to agree, which is one of the great and one of the terrible things about multi-sigs. So next, I'm going to queue up a transaction. I'm going to send some Matic to my wallet here. How much Matic do I want to send? I'm going to go ahead and send one Matic. The current wallet balance in that wallet I know is only a half a Matic. So now I'm going to click review. Under advanced parameters, I don't need to do anything with that. I'm going to submit it. And now I will need to sign the transaction from my MetaMask wallet in just a second. So 
So I've opened up my MetaMask and I actually see a signature request here. I'm going to sign it. Now I'm going to give the UI a few seconds to know that I have signed the transaction. I can go to this transactions page. I will look at Q. Oh no, it's not updated yet. I'm gonna give this a few minutes to update and then we will be back. Okay guys, so I waited a few seconds and my transactions page has updated. So this is what this looks like from the <clears throat> from the confirmation page. I'm going to switch to my other wallet and actually sign this from my other wallet so you can see how this works. Okay, I've switched to my other wallet and now we can see, I've connected it as well, of course, that the confirm button is now available. This is my other wallet, I've already confirmed. I'm going to go ahead and confirm this transaction. And yes, I want to execute it. So one thing to note guys here is that Gnosis does allow you to confirm transactions before you actually execute them. This could be useful if you were doing something like queuing up trades, or if you wanted to pre-approve a sale of something to somebody. Um, like an NFT, an OTC NFT sale, but you were waiting for a certain day to send the NFT or you're waiting for them to send their funds or something like that, you can actually uncheck the execute transaction. But I'm going to go ahead and execute it as well. So I will click submit. And my MetaMask is popping up asking if I want to confirm. So one thing to note guys is that because I both signed and confirmed the transactions, in this instance, I did have to actually pay the gas. So with my first wallet, I did not pay gas because I was just signing it and saying, yes, I approve this. But because I'm actually executing right now, I did pay the gas. And now we'll wait for a little while to let the transaction execute. So guys, I'm back on the assets page. We can see that my transaction did execute because my Matic balance has decreased. And I now have the Matic in my wallet as well. So I have successfully built a multi-sig, sent funds to it, and sent some of those funds back to one of my wallets. I'm now the proud co-owner of another new multi-sig, and you can easily set this up for yourself too. This is not your daddy's DeFi. We offer many different educational programs, including videos, courses, coaching, and more. If you're curious about these, do get in contact with us, leave us a comment, and we will happily be in touch with you.